But with the April Files event currently active, we can jump into a mini dungeon in the events tab here, Sewer Most Foul. Now what can you hope to obtain from this mini dungeon? Well, simply the exclusive artifact, the Ring of Foul Weather, it's unique to this event. However, it performs pretty badly, potentially might get buffed down the line. You can also get these bird feathers and also this bird feed as the currency for this entire store just by running this dungeon. Now the dungeon itself is quite fun and amusing. You're basically turning into a chicken. Everybody will start out as a basic bark. You'll be the white chicken. What you can do is simply run past all of the enemies. You barely have to kill any of them. We'll run past these little minions and get a cut scene, unfortunately unskippable. And then simply you go and run past them all. Unfortunately though, you will go and run all the way past these enemies and then you're a little bit stuck because you'll be in combat. But what you can do is head over here to this campfire. We just picked up this chicken. We're at the campfire now. However, we were the first one running past all the enemies, so they're out to get us. What you can do is group up at that campfire and all die. Enemies will run off. Now, what we're doing here is I decide I'll just go with the fire chicken, the red one for the first mini boss. And yes, we all die here or you could kill off the enemies if you wanted to. And essentially we go and group up for this boss. Again, you can navigate to each of those huts just behind you there and you can sit on top of the different types of chickens and somebody could be a healer chicken, which is going to be the green one. Somebody could be the tank chicken, which is the yellow one. And the rest of you will be DPS chickens. And for this boss fight, I would generally recommend people would take the black chicken it's like the rogue chicken you can go invisible you can deal extra damage from back attacks and overall you pretty much have the best dps this boss fairly straightforward you just have to kill the minions adjacent to him the clones and otherwise then you just go on to kill himself can be quite tedious but you'll finally get the job done and then you can teleport through the portal down below here i'm switching out to go with the sneaky scratcher chicken and we can do a bit more aoe damage along with single target damage the aoe damage isn't bad at all you have this little bomb power here i just invite another friend and we can get through this dungeon a bit faster but again you can simply just run past all of the enemies if you get a bit stuck well, you might die. We're fortunate we can go invisible here as the black chicken and we just keep running off past these guys. We'll get all the way through this hallway, past some more of those minions. And here you will enter into another hallway with more of these chicken huts. You can switch your chicken to what type you want here again. Here's another campfire to our left right there. And here we can head off and we can simply open the portal to the second boss. Now you might have to deal with groups of ads if people aren't running quick enough. Fortunately, if you get there quick enough, then you can avoid those ads and you can simply go on to fight this rover boss, which is like a mini red dragon. He'll breathe fire on you. He also has a quite a large red area. And if you don't have a healer chicken, I would highly recommend avoiding this red area just by lagging out of it. We didn't run quick enough but we still only took two damage, so it could well be just as easy to just sit in those hits and take them to the face rather than running like a chicken. And overall, we go and we kill this boss. And again, you'll have the floor will spawn this grate on the ground and you'll be able to then exit through and head into this other area. You won't have any ads here at all. You simply have these swinging axe traps and you can just jump over them. Fairly straightforward. You may have seen them in Illusionist Gambit as well. And here you group up for the last boss. Again, you have those huts. You can change to whatever chicken type you want. And then you go on to fight him. And he's fairly boring. He doesn't have much mechanics like the other bosses. You're just gonna be burning him down. He does have a few red areas and he will spawn these chicken things to the left there. You could see Nami ran into one of them and it ends up changing your chicken type. We have one behind us there as well. And essentially just if you are in the chicken type that you want, then try and watch out for them and don't run into them. And overall, you just do a lot of damage and you'll finally burn him down. And that will be the dungeon complete. 
and you'll be able to go over to your chest. There we go, we finish it, we get the cutscene, and he just leaves. And there we have our chest, we can head over to it, and you can also re-roll it if you really want to, let's say, get the artifact, but otherwise you can get simply get your bird feed and your bird feathers. And I believe you can do this countless amount of times. And the artifact that you do get from this mini dungeon will be unbound, you'll be able to sell it, 100k astral diamonds, but and you're gonna have to be very lucky to get it to drop. You can sell these for much more after the event is over or as the year goes by, since this is the only place you'll be able to get it. Of course, people will be able to unbind the ones that they do buy from this vendor. You can see I have one right here and it will only cost me 10 unbind tokens to then be able to sell it. So overall, hopefully that's somewhat insightful you guys with this mini dungeon, whether you should bother running it and if you do a few tips on what you're gonna end up facing. And yes, you can skip most of those ad groups drastically shortening the length of time you spend in the dungeon and thus you'll be able to repeat it more quickly and get the rewards more often. So again, if I presented this well, consider leaving the video a like. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. We'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.